Hello, good morning from the Rico Arena in Coventry. It's day two of Group 6 of Championship League Snooker. This is a match between Lee Hang and Ricky Walden. Lee Hang had a great day yesterday. Debut appearance in the Championship League. Played 3-1-3. He was really on fire. Ricky Walden is in fifth place, though. He's played 3-1-1. just one. Remember, the top four reach the playoffs. Fifth place comes back in Group 7. So as it stands at the moment, Lee Hang looking good to qualify. Ricky Walden not guaranteed to stay in, but of course it can all change. It will all change throughout the course of today. It's going to be Ricky Walden to get us underway. Well, that's an unusual break-off from the Chester man. Yeah, Lee Hang had a great day yesterday. He came in first frame. First frame he played, he made a century. Beat Michael White 3-0. First frame against Judd Trump, he made a century. Beat him 3-0. Then he beat Graham Dot 3-2 later on. So he's 3-3, three for three, enjoying his time here in Coventry, looking to press on and reach the semi-finals tonight. And that's the sort of snooker he's been playing. Just a cracking pot, nicely on the black and already a chance to get going here. <coughs> we had six centuries yesterday, Judd Trump had three of them, Lee Hang two, Graham Dot the highest, 136 so far. Hang the world number 36. He was a late call-up because of uh, a few withdrawals. But my word, he's really grasped th the opportunity with both hands. That could have finished better. Taking the opportunity to try and open some more reds up, but he's not been left with anything easy. He's looking at this one with the rest. It's awkward queuing, though, with that other red slightly in the way. Oh dear, well he's potted the red, but just look where the white's finished. <coughs> Let's end a break. And uh, first things first, you've got to hit a colour, he's snookered on every colour. <coughs> just to say, the match on table two is an interesting one. Michael White, Ben Wollaston played three... Both of them 1-0, so whoever loses that match is really struggling to stay in this competition. And I think he nominated the yellow. Oh, 
Referee Greg Coniglio calling a miss. He's got to go back. Big morning session for Walden. He's got Graham Dot next. Uh, as I say, Walden coming in, played three, one, just one. So fifth spot overnight. Were he to finish fifth in the group, he'd come back for group seven in a couple of months' time. But obviously he wants to get top four. He reached the final of uh, group five earlier this week. Lost out to Mark Williams. Yellow again. He actually got closer to the brown first time, Lee Hang. This looks better, though. Well done. Well, he felt it was worth taking on with the black waiting, but there is a chance for Walden, this red to the left middle. It's risky, because if he misses, he's going to leave balls on, but he's lining it up. He's on the yellow. Ricky Walden, currently world number 23. He's had problems with his back. He had a bulging disc in his back and he's had various treatment for it. And obviously that's taken its toll. He dropped out the top 16 and has affected results. Although he says he's feeling a lot fitter at the moment, which is good. Three. He knows he needs uh, a couple of points at least today to reach the playoffs. It's unusual to get in the playoffs without at least three points. Walden has won, but he's playing three matches today. Lee Hang already has three. Martin Gould topping the table on three. Judd Trump also three. So at the moment, those three all looking good.
Pachichi. Well, this is a key shot in uh, this frame. And he's not potted it. Yeah, he just sort of landed a little bit in no man's land there and was not left with anything easy. So Lee Han comes back to the table. He's still in front, actually, by three points. <coughs> with uh, a pretty straightforward red to go to uh, start with. Incredible start he's made to this competition. He's played 11 frames yesterday, won nine, lost just two. So I bet he's uh, delighted he got the late call up. The organisers go down the ranking list and he was 36th, so. Good job he answered the phone. Because <laughs> it could lead to great things. Remember, the winner of the overall Championship League gets in the Champion of Champions here in Coventry in November. That's a big money tournament. One all the top players are in. Not over the line here yet, though. He leads by 27. <coughs> so he's going to need, uh, realistically, three of these reds. And he's missed that one. And worse still for him, it's going to bounce, and it's going to be on to this corner. Well, this is where it helps being tall, which Ricky Walden is. This blue, just a bit of a stretch. <coughs> but not every player could have played it without an extension or the rest. little bitty this frame, bit stop start. Lee hang back at the table. 21 in front. He needs two of these three reds with colours to secure the frame. <coughs> oh wow, did not cue that well at all. Now then, it's obviously tight whether he can see the potting angle of this red or not. He's having a good look. He's Ricky Walden. <coughs> he 
He thinks he can pot it. This red must go to the right middle. <coughs> he's played a great shot there. That cue ball had to travel so far, and he's virtually perfect on it. Lee Hang sits down. Still, obviously, the problem with the red on the top cushion for Walden. He's have to get in right behind that to have a chance of potting it. <coughs> but if he does, then this is a good chance to steal the first frame. And Lee Hang's had a lot of chances already. I can tell you, by the way, Michael White has won the first frame against Ben Wollaston on table two. Remember, they're both zero for three at the moment. Now, this is a big shot in this frame, this last red. Nicely done. So, great chance now for Walden to take a 1-0 lead. So the blue to lead by 17 with 13 on. And Lee Hang will rue a couple of missed chances in this frame. He had uh, a couple of good chances, really, having got himself well in front. <coughs> but uh, he's not going to get another one. Because Ricky Walden takes the first frame of the day here on table one. To lead Lee Hang 1-0. Remember, Walden... He's on just one point overnight, but he's still got three matches to play, including this one. So there's plenty of time for him to climb the table, but he's got to start here in this match. Table two. Now, these two players desperately need points because, uh, as I say, neither of them got off the mark yesterday. Wollaston only won two frames. White only won three. Michael White's won this one, though, so Ben Wollaston bang under pressure. And he's got to play Lee Hang and Graham Dot, who have both... Uh, so far played really well in this group. White's got Judd Trump and Ricky Walden. So not easy for him either. <coughs> Remember the bottom two players at the end of the day are relegated from the Championship League. <coughs> and I would say whoever loses this match He's, well, not necessarily out, but probably won't make the playoffs. The best they could do would be fifth place. <coughs> oh, well, he's missed that yellow. Great. Bit of a nervy one over there on table two. It's 1-0 to Michael White there against Ben Wollaston. And here on table one, it's 1-0 to Ricky Walden against Lee Hang.
Well, they can certainly cut this in. Although a control on the cue ball may be not straightforward. But he's on the colour, so uh, Lee hang in in frame two. Remember all these matches, best of five. Well, this is shaving up to be a really good chance. Ricky Walden left that red close to the yellow pocket. Lee Hang now nicely in position. makes such a difference when you've got big colours on their spots. It means the cue ball doesn't have to keep travelling down to the blue or the bolt colours. And also, of course, you go up in higher increments. We've seen some frames this week where black and pink have been tied up and it's made the frames very disjointed and quite hard for players to score. But this is looking like a frame-winning visit now from Lee Hang. Just got to keep himself nicely focused and not make any unforced unexpected errors and he should level up here been really impressed with him he's played uh, terrifically well but he's had a good season semi-finalist China Championship got to another quarter final as well of a ranking event and just seems to uh, have found something an extra gear if you like this season
seven. Couple more reds needed to secure the frame. A really big break on here. The high so far, 136 Graham Dot. There's a £500 high break prize in each group, and it's under threat here from Lee Hang. If he were to clear the table with blacks for all the reds and the six colours, it's a 140 on, and that is a good target for the high break. Well, he made a few errors in the first frame, but in this frame just needed one chance, and he's uh, once again taking it out very impressively, and he's poised to make his third century of this group of Championship League. Playing some great snooker here, the Chinese. Generally this season, the Chinese players have really proved their strength and depth. It's not all been about Ding Junhui. He did win the World Open, but since then his form has tailed off pretty dramatically. But there's been other Chinese players reaching finals. Yan Bingtao, Chao Yupeng. There have been semi-finalists like Li Hang. We've seen the Zhu Yu Long already win the first group here earlier this month. And there's plenty more where that came from. So it's been a season, in, if you like, where the Chinese contingent have made their move. He's still on this 140, Seven. Lee Hang. Oh, that's a shame. He's missed the black on the century. So 98. Still a great break, but not the highest. Not even a century in the end. And he's a little disappointed about that. He wanted the century. Even so, he's won the frame. And he's levelled up at one each. Now then, uh, they're still in the second frame on table two. Michael White still leading Ben Wollaston 1-0. It's obviously a bit of a scrappy frame. White in front by 19 points. Got to be said, things are starting to look a bit bleak for Ben Wollaston. Yet to get a point and possibly about to go 2 0 down in that match. Even if White wins, he's still in trouble, but at least he gives himself a chance of hauling his way out of it. So 1 0, possibly 2 0 there. It's 1 all here. Lee Hang, a break of 98. Missed the black with a big break on, a big century on, but even so, at least he's levelled up.
So he's in again. Just a few errors in the first frame prevented him winning that one, but he put it right in the last one and looking super confident here. Once again, he's got the black on its spot, pink available as well. So another big, big break looms here. Well, he's running out of loose reds now, so it's not straightforward, this, because he slightly lost his way as well. He's had to go down for bulk colours. Just checking to see. There may be a two-ball plant in the middle of that cluster to the left corner. That would certainly help, because that would open everything up.
Well, if he's played on it, he's not got close enough. Didn't screw back far enough. So he leads by 44 in this third frame. Michael White, I can tell you, leads Ben Wollaston 2 0 on table two. Well, Walden's opened the reds up, but he's left one on. So it's one good pot and position, and you feel it's going to be 2-1 to, to Lee Hang. Well, it's one good pot and He was very hesitant on that, he took a long time over it, and in the end he got nowhere near the pot. Now then, there's a red on to the right centre, with the black waiting. Got to be so exact to those middle pockets. Same applies to the left centre if Lee Hang's considering taking this one on. Missable this because he's screwing the white back for the black. Yeah, because he was going with pace, screwing the white back, that was always tough. And worst case scenario has happened, he's left it on. This is a better chance for Walden to get involved in this third frame, trailing by 44, but. Good chance here to counter-attack. I can tell you, meanwhile, Michael White is going to—he's going to beat Ben Wollaston 3-0. So Wollaston now really struggling to stay in this competition. He's going to have to win his last two matches, and that, even that might not be enough. Go back to Michael White. He's actually had two centuries in that match against Wollaston. So uh, fine performance by the young Welshman today. Still needs uh, more points on the board. That's his first. But even so, good form to show in his first match of the day.
Well, it's obviously tight for the black. I mean, he's behind the pink for the yellow pocket, but I'm pretty sure he played on the black. <coughs> yeah, and he's missed the pink, so what a chance now for Lee Hang. 29 points in front with plenty to go at to take a 2-1 lead. This reddish frame ball. Well, it certainly could have gone either way. Ricky Walden had his chance, but missed that pink to the yellow pocket. And uh, Lee Hang has surely done enough now to take a 2 1 lead. If Lee Hang does win this match, he'll go back top of the table again. The two matches still to play, he'll have four points, which uh, pretty much confirms him in the semi finals. So uh, 56 to the pink has given Lee Hang the third frame here. Ricky Walden did have a chance, but a missed pink in the end was costly for him. Lee Hang, as I say, looking to get to four points. Walden uh, currently fifth place, or, or was coming in this morning. Although Michael White, with his victory, will have just gone in front of him for now. So at the moment, Ricky Walden in the relegation zone. It goes on points one. It's a point per match one. Then it's frames one. Most frames won. Then least frames lost. And if there's a tie between two players, it's who be two in that match to decide the league placings.
Frame four, Lee Hang 2-1 up. He needs one more frame to register his fourth consecutive victory of this sixth group of the Championship League. This red is cuttable to the middle. But there's pressure on this black. If he's going to take this on right close to the side cushion, it's a big shot for Walden already 2-1 down to a player full of confidence. He knows how well Lee Hang is playing, how well he's queuing. So it may be uh, time to look elsewhere. Can't blame him for that. Well, this looks a good shot. Really good safety. He's blocked off most of the reds, although not all of them.
Well, they got close to it. The Reds have opened up, so first play to get in here has a chance to do some damage, but it's, of course it's the getting in that's the problem. Just to say, uh, Martin Gould and Judd Trump getting underway on table two. That could be a, a blink and you'll miss it affair. Trump was excellent last night. As Walden knocks the first, uh, or actually his second red in in this frame, but again, it's not finished great. The previous time he had that tough black, which he didn't fancy. And again here, it looks like close the shop time. Oh, but he hasn't got to the brown. He was trying to tuck in tight behind the brown and snooker Lee hang on all the reds, but didn't uh, do that. It's a bit of an error, that, because where the reds had fanned out and opened up, there was a chance that Lee Hang in escaping from the snooker could leave something on, but he's not snookered. That's the problem. He may even take this red on. Oh, and again, he got close to it. But it's worked out for Walden because Lee Hang taking the red on and missing has given Walden a chance. Well, this is a little awkward, digging down. <coughs> but nicely done. No. I think Walden would see this as a good chance. And one he's got to take, really. He's playing a very hungry, confident, determined opponent in the shape of Lee Hang. <coughs> but Walden's a man with plenty of experience. He's won three big ranking titles. A former top 16 player. He was a semi-finalist at the World Championship in 2013, five years ago now. He was runner-up in Group 5 earlier this week. Just to uh, recap the players through to the winners group, five of them so far. We've got uh, Zhu Yu Long, Mark Selby, Karen Wilson, Ali Carter and Mark Williams. It's a great lineup already. So far so good for Ricky Walden, 40 points to the good here with every chance to level up and force a decider. 
not had uh, many decided actually this week. We only had two yesterday in the 12 matches that were played. Oh, he's checking the scoreboard. 58 the lead, so red and a colour, and snooker's required. Doesn't need to disturb those reds, just red and a colour, and Lee Hang needs snookers. Wow, well he needed the red. That's a surprise. Two balls from securing the frame. Break ends at 56, the lead is 58, but there's still 67 on. Now then, can he play into the cluster? He can. And he's on this red to the middle, albeit slightly awkward queuing, but all the reds now pot, so if he can knock this in, this is a chance for Lee Hang to steal victory. The yellow's slightly awkward, but he can worry about that in due course. Well, it was a chance, but he's missed the red. So 42 in the frame. Once again, Walden needs red and colour. Well, it's just sort of finished awkward. He needs a colour. It's 43 in front, 43 on, so he needs a colour. But it may just have to be a safety. 
the moment Lee Han can only tie with two blacks in the colours. Well, he has left this red on, so if Walden can just knock this in, then it should be 2-2. Two -two. Well, it was the earlier 56 that did the damage. He did uh, break down, but Lee Hang unable to take advantage. And there's going to be one more frame to decide it. Big frame coming up for Ricky Walden. He's done well to win that one. He needs points on the board in this group. And he has a chance to take one here if he wins the decider. He's levelled up with Lee Hang at 2-2. Two, two. <coughs> now, they're underway uh, on table two. As I say, this could be a very attractive match between two really attacking players, Judd Trump and Martin Gould. Gould in front in this opening frame. He's top of the group at the moment uh, on three points. Judd Trump third also on three. They're only separated by frames one. Lee Hang sandwiched between them in second. Graham Dock fourth in the group. He plays Ricky Walden on table one after Walden's played Lee Hang. <coughs> but uh, Michael White, worth saying, has at the moment overtaken Walden into fifth position. So Pressure's on Ricky when we get this decider underway. Gould looking good for the first frame, though, on table two. Fifth decided frame. So... They're in the first frame there, but this is the decider. Lee Hang 2, Ricky Walden 2. Ricky Warden sits down. He uh, didn't play a great break-off shot. Left a red on. Lee Hang knocks it in. So first chance to the Chinese in the deciding frame. He's made uh, the highest break of the match, 98. That was in the first frame. Could have been a century. Missed the black with a 140 on, actually. <coughs> Remember, he's looking to win his fourth match out of four. He's made a fantastic start to his first ever group of Championship League snooker. Can he keep the 100% record going? Well, not at this visit.
60. So Lee Hang had first chance, but Ricky Walden has developed the reds in that shot. <coughs> I always think Ricky Walden is uh, a much better player when he's really attacking. As I say, he's had his health problems, his back in particular, that bulging disc on his spine. But meanwhile, having got himself into a good position, he misses that and he's not happy. He's annoyed because he knows it was a good chance that, and he knows also He's left a good chance for Lee Hang. Well, all sorts of kisses and nudges, and it could not have worked out better, really. Look at the reds. Black, pink, blue available. What a chance for Lee Hang to win this match now. Lee Hang leads by three points. <coughs> Saw Walden's reaction when he broke down. He was very annoyed as he went back to his seat. And uh, I suspect <laughs> becoming more and more annoyed with every ball his opponent pots here. I mentioned there were only two deciders yesterday. Lee Hang won one of them against Graham Dot.
Wow, he's overcut the black. That's a great chance, and he's overcut the black. So 17 points in it, and he can't believe he's missed that. Walden bolts out of his chair. He wasn't sure if he'd get another chance in this match. But he has this red to the middle. Potted that very confidently, running through for the blue. Yeah, it's just the issue of that red handcuff to the pink. At the moment, it doesn't seem to pot. But in potting the pink, he will free it. This pink will put Ricky Walden two points in front in this deciding frame. Well, all the colours are going to be on their spots, so it's about these two reds. It's nicely on this one. So this is the key shot, just dropping on the last red. Just depends what sort of angle he has on this pink. Meanwhile, Martin Gould has raced into a 2-0 lead over Judd Trump. On table two, Gould, uh, of course, has already got himself top of the group overnight. And looking really good there. That was the issue, the angle he had there, trying to force round for the red, and he's missed the pink. So 11 points in this frame, Ricky Walden in front. A 
tense finish here on the last red they've both had chances who's going to take the point it's a bigger point for Ricky Walden because he's only got one at the moment Lee Hang on three Oh, what a pot. Well, he took a long time thinking about it, but that could be the winning shot. He's just got to make sure he gets on this yellow. And if he does, he's surely the winner. Leads by 19 with the black, which means he would need yellow and green. So this is now the absolute key shot for Walden. He's potted a great red. And he's nicely on the yellow, so yellow and green. And it looks like a bit of a steal for Ricky Walden. Lee Hang was in earlier with a good chance in this frame. And it's an important victory for Ricky Walden. Takes him back into fifth spot. Michael White had gone above him, but Walden will go back into fifth spot with still two more matches to play. In fact, he stays on to play Graham Dot, and then he's got Michael White later on. Lee Hang has Ben Wollaston and Graham Dot, but of course Lee Hang on three points. But this is his first defeat of this group. Well, Ricky Walden will be mightily relieved to have won a pretty dramatic match in the end.